This is WWCX Radio The Burning Phoenix 104.44 FM Radio. It's Friday evening. Have fun this weekend and be safe friend. Now back to commercial free music for the next hour. Boom 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 boom. I'm gonna shoot you right down. Right off your knees. Take you home with me And put you in my house Boom, 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 boom How, 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 how
Hey, Jason, what are we doing here on planet Earth? Is this some kind of matrix we're living in? I believe that we live inside the simulacrum, and the simulacrum is nothing but a holographic template by which someone on the outside of the construct can build worlds, can do whatever it wants to do, can create and collapse entire biospheres, can introduce whole new variants of the human family with new genetic sequences, latent genes, junk DNA that only activate under certain conditions because this entire experience that we're inside right now is a copy of an actual real system, a real world, maybe a real solar system. It's a duplicate. That's why everything that happens in here, even though it is so strange and often hidden from us, it will never cross contaminate the real reality because it's all quarantined inside of here. And inside of here, we're experiencing a time dilation, meaning Time in a linear progression for us is highly compressed. It's easy, it's easy to edit and it's easy to, to institute resets and all kinds of phenomena inside the construct because they're able to manipulate our perception of time. This means that while we're living an entire lifetime, the whole episode that I call Jason Brashears and an avatar born in 1973, this entire episode could be 17 minutes with some, some VR headset on the outside of the construct. There could be thousands of people in buildings that are experiencing all this there may, there, may, there may be only 250,000 real people in this entire simulacrum. I don't know, could be 200, even 250 million is still a drop in the bucket compared to the, compared to the actual population of the world as projected. All this could be going on simultaneously with 10,000 other simulacrums all having totally different participants. And because these simulacrums are, have governors and they have overseers, then cross-contamination between from simulacrum to simulacrum is very possible. What doesn't work in this simulacrum or programming and cataclysm protocols that have gone out of control in this simulacrum can be transferred to one that is working. And this is why all of a sudden we have a whole new race of people. They come with their own infrastructure. Their own memories are implanted. There's not a single shred of evidence this race or culture ever existed in the world. And then all of a sudden they show up and they take over an entire nation. They infiltrate the, the Mediterranean. We have no evidence of a prior existence. We don't know how they just appeared on the scene because there's an ocean there and we call them the Sea People's Confederation today. Or we call them the Anuna in the 35th century BC, which, which anthropologists have always been absolutely flustered because they can't they can't explain. This is a this is an anthropological mystery. I haven't made this up, but they can't explain how the Neolithic societies of the 35th century BC in a 50 year period of time have archeologically been proven to all of a sudden explode into urban development, series canal works, so perfect sanitation, write, writing, uh, the, pre the preservation of information on, on monuments. It's, it's, a, it's unheard of. It's almost as if an entire cultural race of people were implanted here holographically. And as soon as they appeared, they may have been scatterbrained for two or three days, but then all of a sudden they go about their business, their memories are implanted, uh, and it doesn't really matter what the first generation believes, even if they, they suspect that foul play. It doesn't matter because all their sons and daughters and all their sons and daughters within a generation or two will just be, the they'll, They'll be living in the new the new biosphere, totally oblivious to the fact that they just came from an entire different different simulacrum, which uh, we can call it a world. We can call it each one of them is a closed is a closed system. But don't don't think that my belief system on this is I'm just copying some Star Trek crap that I heard. This is this is by this comes by long. I'm talking about. It took a long time to der to derive these conclusions, and it was a it was a painstaking process because I had to basically admit to myself that almost everything that I believed to be true was absolute BS to even get to these conclusions, to study the world's calendars, and to understand that the events that unfolded during those calendars is too mathematically precise. We are governed by a very strict 
arithmetic and it doesn't change. And this is why I am absolutely so confident on my channel to give out all the predictions that I do because they are moored to a series of events that go back 58 centuries. People who watch my channel know I give out predictions all the time. And, I, and people will come in the comments know from Australia and Switzerland and Thailand and they'll admit it. Hey man, hey, just like you said, it happened. But it's not because I have any supernatural information. It's because I'm following the actual arithmetic of the reality tunnels that are unfolding because once you attach a series of events to a certain geographical area that series of events has predictive value every single time that was trippy and mind-blowing man That's the video. So glad you tuned into the Mind Tribe, friend. If you're into this kind of thing and want to go a little bit deeper down the rabbit hole, I have alternative channels on Rumble, BitChute, and Odyssey. I'll put links in the description below. I also created a Discord server group. There'll be a link down there also. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, it really helps me out if you give it a like. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, click our logo in the top right-hand corner, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified when we upload new videos. All right, that's it for now. Yeah. High vibes, high vibes, high vibes. Peace in the highest vibration. Yeah.